awesome guys, back in another video. So over these past days, all you would know, we've been checking out a driver's license, different celebrity reactions to it, and the backstory behind the song itself. Well, in just a few hours time, Joshua Bassett is dropping his music video for his new song, Lie Lie Lie. And me being the true detective I am, I found out some lyrics to the song itself before it's even been publicly released to the entire world that you guys need to check out. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder that is currently a £50 PSN or Xbox store gift card giveaway. Literally all you need to do to enter is click the top link in the description and then follow the set steps. A quick statistics update for Driver License, the song itself, because I think when we first covered it, it had a few million plays. Literally in five days, it's got over 21 or like 22 million on YouTube and over 50 million streams on Spotify. Jesus Christ, that is literally mental. I don't think I even know a song that has had 50 million streams in literally only five days. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Spotify themselves even tweeted out on January 11th, Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo set the Spotify record for most streams in a day for a non-holiday song. On January 12th, the song continued to beat its own record, which to actually comprehend is literally mental. She's doing bigger, probably two times the amount of numbers mainstream artists are even doing. Well, back to the topic of the video, like I mentioned briefly at the start, Joshua Bassett is officially dropping his music video for his longly awaited song, Lie Lie Lie. He posted a snippet on Instagram last night, which is already sitting on over 1 million views alone. The song's probably gonna get like 10 mil in a week. It seems everyone and their pet turtle at this point is invested in this drama because all the comments are flooded with stuff like this better be interesting and not a car too. So it seems the music video for his new song already has quite a few similarities with Olivia Rodrigo's coincidence, I think not. What a lot of fans may actually know or not know, back in November 2019 was when he initially wrote this song. Now, of course, he's most likely changed maybe the majority of the lyrics, but the concept for the song itself is the same. And it is literally the best time to drop the song in his shoes because literally millions of people are invested in this ongoing drama that's going on. So whether they like the song or not, it's gonna do big numbers. Last night, he gave a little backstory to the reason why he's dropping a song and what it even involves, where he said, I wrote Lie 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 after I found out a friend had been lying about me behind my back for a long time. It always sucks to hear that someone you thought you could trust would throw you under the bus when it benefits them. It happens to all of us and I think all you can do is seek out people that build you up rather than tear you down. So it's clear he's trying to go for the relatability factor just like Olivia done in her song and it also is an emotional song. It just seems so much of a coincidence they're literally being released a few days apart. I mean, what were the odds of them both dropping a relatable song, an emotional song, literally a week apart? Come on, this is smelling a bit fishy. From what he's given to us so far from the lyrics, let's depict each one and get its true meaning. He starts off by saying, lie to everyone else only think about yourself and literally everyone off the bat assumed this song was about Olivia some sort of like retaliation to driver's license. I mean you can't exactly blame people for thinking that the fact that he's got these lyrics and then funnily enough a few days after she dropped driver's license he decides to drop it. People in the comments are saying stuff like I love Olivia but this sounds so good. Now I don't know what this person's trying to get at. They're just trying to assume it's definitely a retaliation to her song but whether it's his management or label, they clearly know what they're doing by releasing the song tonight. Because you've got to look at it from this point of view. They're not actually first singers. They're actors who are doing singing. And they know that Love Triangles, all this drama, brings in millions of eyes. And regardless whether the song is about her or not, people were tuning in and assuming it is about her. Another fan said, so who's lying? As you can see from these comments, the majority of people do think it's a response to her song due to the timing of all these events going down. Talking about the majority of people, if you're just right into the video and you're still not joining Loafers, what are you doing? Smash that red button. He then goes on to say, I know what you say about me. I hope it makes you happy. Who's hurt, my guy? The fact that he's called the song Lie 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 is clearly someone out there has pushed his buttons. Can't seem to get me off your mind. I know that you're lying through your teeth. I think we've got to just say fair play to the guy because he's making it sound like a retaliation to driver's license. The reason being the concept and actual lyrics itself 
in an interview song was saying how she misses him, she can't believe that he left her, and now he's saying, how come you can't get me off your mind? Told them the lies that you told me, I've had enough of it this time. Regardless if it's about her or not, who is lying to my guy, Joshua Bassett, someone I'm not? He then finishes with, so you can lie, 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 go ahead and try, 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 it won't work this time, 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 time. Kiss your ass, goodbye, bye, 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 bye. But he clearly likes repetition to express his emotions in a song, but one thing I'm not happy with in the slightest, he said the word ass in his song. I'm really hoping that is not included in the final draft because that is not family friendly PG claim. One song that everyone thinks was about Olivia Rodrigo was when Josh Bassett released a song called Anyone Else, which has over like three mil views in only five months. When he actually got interviewed about the whole concept behind Anyone Else, he said, anyone else came about after the sudden realization I was hopelessly falling in love with a close friend who was in a relationship with someone else. How am I supposed to think about anything else was the first lyric I wrote and then kind of back pocketed the idea after weeks of denial in hopes that I'd move on and all my feelings would subside. I had to finish the song and face the reality. I'm done pretending I want anyone else. The reason everyone assumed and said that is definitely about Olivia Rodrigo because at the time when he dropped this song, Olivia was dating some Donnie called Ethan Wacker while they were both filming on the High School Musical series. Although fans are pointing out an old IG video a couple of months back that Olivia had done that fans literally assumed instantly it had to be about Bassett. I like the way you talk when you've just woken up. Now I like the way we can joke about offensive stuff I like the way you give homeless men your mittens When you're all out of spare change I like the way you think, I like your reasoning Everyone thinks you're brilliant, you think you don't know anything I like the way you care you're nice when no one's there. I mean, the lyrics could easily be about him or anyone else, but a lot of fans would agree and comment and stuff like, I think this is about Joshua. At this point, it seems like every other song the pair are releasing is about one another. As you guys know, on my channel, I like to give the most address cards at the shout outs, whether you lie, lie, lie or not. And like, you know what? Just give me a shout out. All you gotta do, just be active in the channel, whether that's going to see like and content subscribing, all different videos. And today, shout out got someone called Logan Yozwak, thank you so much for supporting the channel, much appreciated. And for the last few songs or clips, fans assumed that were about one another was what I showed in yesterday's video, which if you haven't seen, here's what I'm talking about. Now I'm not sure if he's even dropped that song or maybe it was just like one of his previews that he's going to drop in like 2025 but it's got a lot of fans talking because the top comment underneath was imagine the only way they talk is through song communication and to be honest at this point who even knows next thing you know they're dropping whole dedicated albums about one another Hey anyway, guys don't forget the video I hope you did enjoy as always Normally, your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited for Joshua Bassett's Lie, Lie, Lie? Do you think it's going to be complete fire or trash? But as always, put hashtag loafers in the comments. Follow up my social media, Instagram at loaftube. Same with Twitter. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.